So if you've been out looking at buying a tent, you've probably come across the term hydrostatic head. We're just going to spend a few moments here having a look to see what it actually means. Now imagine you're out camping in your tent and the clouds come over and it starts to rain. Well, hydrostatic head is the measure of how waterproof your tent material is. And the more waterproof it is, the drier you'll be. Now let's look into the details of what hydrostatic head actually is. Imagine we've got a piece of tent material and on that tent material we place a large tube. On the tube we mark out a scale, say millimetres. We then start pouring water into that tube. We pour more water, building up a larger column of water and we keep going until we start to see the fabric leaking and letting some water through. This will give us the hydrostatic head. So hydrostatic is how much of a column of water could the fabric hold before it starts leaking. In our example, it started leaking after 5,000 millimeters. So we could say this fabric has a hydrostatic head of 5,000 millimeters. And you'll also see that abbreviated on some tents as HH. So you're probably thinking that's all well and good. What is a good hydrostatic head that I need for my tent? Well, the larger the number, the more waterproof the material. So it would seem obvious to say, I'm gonna find a tent with the largest hydrostatic head. Unfortunately, it's not always that simple. You could stay perfectly dry in a tent with a 3000 millimeter hydrostatic head, for example, and yet go to a tent that says it's got a 10,000 hydrostatic head and get wet. So let's look at a few other factors that you want to take into consideration. Tents are made out of different sheets of material and those sheets are joined together. The seams are a big source of leaks where the fabric is stitched together. The holes, of course, could let through some water. Also, water may actually get in between the two sheets. A good tent will have good seams, they're double stitched, they're taped over, and they're sealed. You also find that a lot of tents are actually coated with a waterproof material, making them further waterproof, so the water easily runs off. Now there's different quality of tents and there's different quality of waterproofing. Waterproofing material can even be damaged simply by exposure to the sun. And depending on how often you use the tent and, and the quality of the tent, you may find that the waterproofing may only last a few years, it may last a decade. So let's just get back on topic and have a quick look at what hydrostatic head is. Use it as a guide to how waterproof your tent is. It's not the only factor. You want to make sure the seams on your tent are good. They've all been sealed and they're not gonna let in water. You also should have a look to see if the manufacturer says their tent has been treated and you often see further waterproof treating and UV treatment. So hopefully that's answered a little bit of questions on what hydrostatic head is. All's left to say, happy camping.